Yeah, go ahead and add a filter to that first frame. Uh, that change up the color a little bit. Hey, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I've been working on this all night long. Basically, from um, the start of the day, I sat down at the computer and started working on the, um, the building there. While at the same time, trying to create a guitar in the background. So that when I sped the clip up, it has the bass being sped up. So that was uh, ELA Studio and Sons, Mr. Editor on acoustic bass and um i have some clip i have the the track of it slowed down but this is sped up and that's what we hear in the background too along a little bit with some music that share factory provides i would say we can use so a little bit way in the background you might hear that but this is basically the building i've been putting together for um the uh his and hers powder room which is the first staller and then I put in um, two facility buildings there uh, for the faculty one's a rec I think and the other is um, training no it might be training I, I got I don't know, I'll have to look again but I'm not sure I'll put in another um, staff building here a little bit I'm gonna make that maybe medical where the staff would have a place for uh, first aid and stuff like that to help take keep the uh, um, our faculty healthy and working and happy to do their job which I have to keep an eye on uh, raising their uh, wages because see it's unlimited funds so I can really shoot their wages up and make them happy but sometimes it's not all about money you gotta meet their working conditions um have a couple people that can switch out to that they're not working all the time and they can go and they can go to the facility for the staff and take a break and or get trained or and then training helps them become better staff and they're, they're more likely to perform better at their jobs which would help which helps up the guests and that, so but that's what we're working on here this is um uh, the beginning track I put together and then I, I had to go in and um, put another track together because it was too short when I sped it up so I got it at the point now that when I, I create the original track I can speed it up if I do that two times then that creates two clips at a, a, a 14.59 interval so and that's under the 15 minutes which is allows me to uh, post it on YouTube without having to be um, the um, have to get the premium package I don't want to have to pay for it not that it's not worth it it probably is worth it but I just I can't afford a monthly payment of that every month so I have to do what I I can afford which is working on uh, my clips keeping them under 15 minutes and that way I can just use my channel to post them and that what that does it does two things for us one I could go back and I can review them which I have and I've seen stuff like floating barrels and floating lamp posts and the different things like that and where I could go back or something in the wall is not right or and then I could go back and change it or fix it or I say oh it's a little dark over there maybe we'll put some lights in and that's what I've been um, working on there. Plus, I, like I said, I can go through and say, uh, see, this is just the stuff like a props and stuff that you might find stored someplace that they might use somewhere. Like the old, but see, every one of those torches light up, so it'll provide light in this room. <laughs> when I turn, see, I got it paused now. That's why you, you don't see the flames. But when I turn to <laughs> unpause it, it's just like, so I was just putting stuff in here so it's not the same in each place that it it looks like different storage for different things so uh, I think my next build or the next building maybe will be stuff I'll put in there maybe for like a winter theme so and stuff like that so that maybe for like during the winter months they have stuff they can bring out and set up for uh, displays and stuff and while well, in the summer it's all in storage 
and that's what I'll be building one of those here pretty quick I think that's going to be part of the racetrack then I put a little warehouse out there for that stuff and I can put rows and rows of like Christmas trees in there and different candy canes and different props and looks stuff like that uh, <laughs> barrels of fake snow <laughs> there you go and uh, we'll do something like that but we'll build that over and then we can build some similar too like uh, over at the logging camp we can put in a big old warehouse and we can put a couple of trucks inside maybe put all kinds of stuff for like when um, uh, the Christmas festival come around they got stuff that they can put out for it and then what would be neat though is have this park and then turn around do the same park but do it in the snow so like everything was brought out that you see in storage and bring it out to actually put the stuff out <laughs> so everything's got its place in storage once you go back into the summer <laughs> no that it would be kind of cool to do that. It, it, you could do it, and then you make the cliffs, and then you have these transitions where it kind of transitions, and I'm saying that it's all out of the warehouse, and then it transition to the park, and it transitions into the winter theme. <laughs> so, that you could do it. Take a lot of work, but there's no problem in doing that. Um, like I said, I got to be conservative on my memory. Cause just like me, my memory's going. <laughs> it's been going ever since first grade, so what the heck. Uh, I've gotten through so far. <laughs> but um, that's a... Uh, I thought... It, that's a guitar in the background. I thought I had uh, the Prairie Dog family on that. Maybe not. Uh, there, there's Prairie Dog family. Yes, sir. Let me see. That's that's the clip I had just put together, and now I I, I put an audio track to it, and um, because the other set of clips I got, I have two files. I have one for um with the bass line on it. So the bass line's always there. The uh the music's there. And it's set at the 1459. So all I gotta bring in his new clips. And then I can edit the clips while I got them there. There's different things I can do. I can overlays. I can do transitions. There's different uh, filters I can use as well. As well as different layouts I can do. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So and uh, I'm just basically. It's it's a basic program. I mean. There's some neat things, and then at the same time, there could be more, you know, that uh, you could, uh, like, uh, plan a coaster theme, like they have for a World of Tanks, uh, to have a World of Warship theme, like they have for a World of Tanks, would be cool, and then you create these different uh, transitions to keep, like, maybe pass through the portal and then go into World of Tanks and go into battle. But see, like some of these maps here in um, uh, Planet Coaster, if you're sitting there and you look, it looks like you go up and over the hill with a tank, go down on the other side where it kind of disappear down over the hill, and then go into a battle that you see in actual world of tanks that, that have that kind of landscape with the buildings and stuff. And there's some that are just, it's an open... Oh man, that's hard because it, it's hard to find places to hide when it's open terrain. And if you try to dash across there, they always pick you off. So uh, when you can tell the newbies because they'll rush right across and uh, they don't even make it halfway across, and boom, they're taken out. But uh, that's all part of the game. That's the learning process. Learning. And then there's the uh, it's town uh, like Himmelsdorf. Um, Mines is a nice one because it's got a mix of open field and it also has some town and a little bit of has a little bit of everything where you can play around with the different terrain and stuff and hide and find your avenues of sight and you pick some of the um, enemy off if they don't roll through you like uh, uh, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> 
I'll keep it clean. But uh, yeah, all right. We get the Prairie Dog family going. See, these are these are the two clips I put together, and when I sped them up and put them together, they actually got in under the 15 minute thing, so and it's perfect. And um, I, I and that's why I'm going through now with the audio track, trying to make it a little bit more interesting and trying to explain what we're doing and how the park's coming along. And so as you can see, we got a nice little area here. We got information, the Grizz's Treasure, uh, Grizz's Fries, and then there's a, there's a uh, Stormwind Soda, and then there's a Crossroads Water, and then there's a, let's see, the, okay, Taz Dogs. There's Taz Dogs there at the end. And then, like I said, we have our first aid. You have bathrooms now, the, the, the uh, his and hers uh, powder room. And then we also brought in the truck. We finally got the... Uh, see, on the PC, I was able to put something on the side of the truck to give it to... Make it look like, you know, like a little uh, landscape of something, like, you know, but I couldn't find nothing in there. If they have it, I couldn't find it, so. But I uh, make it simple, keep it simple, something easy, uh, a logo that you can see instantly and recognize it without having to stop and read it. Like, oh, T, yeah, okay, I know that company. They, they do amusement parks. Yep. And that's what the that's the idea. That's what we want to the look. <laughs> they, they do amusement parks. They'll set them up and they'll break them down. They'll fill up their trucks and they'll take off and head for the next town or next circuit. And then they'll set everything back up and get ready to do it for the next weekend. And that's what they do from town to town, following the racetrack. And, uh, that's the storyline we're going with, and I think it'll work, you know, so. This turned out pretty good, I like it. I, I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, I wanted to get the roof on it. Uh, I got the interior pretty well done. I got a little tower thing there. I might put something up inside the tower, too, but like I said, this is kind of off-track amusement warehouse, maybe, in the background, kind of. Plus, it's a... Um, a facility for the staff in the front as well as his and hers powder room so we have a place for the people to go and so I, I made it so that when they come through the court they, they can gather something to eat something to drink and then before they go into the park they can use the powder room see and um, <coughs> your cues are off to the side for your food and stuff that They'll queue up, but they're not blocking the main pathway. And that's kind of the, the floor plan that the, the Prairie Dog family had come up with. Because we tried other ones before. We had traffic control problems where the uh, people would stop at the, uh, the shops and then they queue up. Queue up. <laughs> you can tell I was in Britain for a while. Queue. They line up. <laughs> ah, yeah, I was in England for four years. I was there through the Air Force. So I uh, loved it. I, I wish we could have stayed. Made some good friends there and had a good time while we were there. And um, it, it was the culture and everything. I, I, I fit in well. So I loved it. Had a good time. Seen some things that uh, a lot of people don't get to see. Like I got to see London. Uh, we went over to France for a little bit for a day trip, taking a, uh, a ferry across the channel and back. So, and, um, if you think about Dover and all that and that stuff, and you see the white, that's what it was like when we went across and coming back and seeing the white cliffs of Dover. And there's a lot of history there. We passed through there. So I'm a part of the history of that country, so. I'm proud to say I did my best. We did a good job, and um, uh, I loved being there. So, from Phil Admiral Grizz, the LA Studio and Sons, and the Prairie Dog family, we'd like to thank you for watching. And everybody, please be safe.